en question. President, please be seated. Le président. Do you wish to ในเรื่องของการเรียนรู้ในเรื่องของการเรียนรู้ในเรื่องของการเรียนรู้ในเรื่องของการเรียนรู้ในเรื่องของการเรียนรู้ในเรื่องของการเรียนรู้ในเร
Good morning, Mr. Civil Party. Bonjour, What is your name? Comment vous appelez-vous? Civil Party. My name Je is Som Sat. Je m'appelle Som Sat. I was born on the 1st of August, 1963. I was born at Phnom Penh village, Swai Trung district, de Phnom Penh. in Vietnam. Au Vietnam. President, and where is your current address, and what are you Quel doing for living at the moment? Profession? Actuelle. Answer. Réponse. Currently, I'm living in Dao, Kiribong district, Takai province, and I am a rice farmer. Question. Question. What are the names of your parents? Comment s'appellent vos parents? Answer. My father's name. Mon père is Som San, Som San and my mother is Pung Song. Pung Song. Question, what Question. is the name of your wife Comment and how many children épouse? do you have together? Answer, my Répose. wife is Kung Wan Na and we have Kung two Wan Na. children together. President, uh, thank you. Merci. For the hearing of the impact statement of the civil party, the chamber has arranged the presence of a TPO staff to provide a motion of support through the civil party. Retenu les services de la TPO pour offrir un soutien psychologique à cette partie civile. During the entire proceeding of hearing this uh, statement of uh, impact, and Mr. Samsa, as a civil party, Monsieur the Samsa. chamber will give you the floor en tant que civil, la so that you can make your statement of harm and suffering upon you. Enduré. Physically, emotionally, and materially, as a result, the right result of crimes that existed and that continues to affect you until today, and which led you to become a civil party in this case, and which are involved the two accused, that is Nunji and Kiu Samporn. En lien avec les As per your application, the crimes are referred to those that committed during the period of the Nukuti Kampuji from 17 April 1975 to 16 January 1979, and which are related to what happened at the Trapeant Modem work site. To start with, the Chamber hands the floor to the LIPCO lawyers for the civil party. Good morning, Mr. President, and good morning, Your Honours, and everyone in around the courtroom, and good morning, Mr. Civil Party. The lead co lawyers would like to designate Lao Chunti, a Civil Party lawyer, to put questions to the Civil Party Samsa. He is the lawyer for the Civil Party as well. President, yes, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. And allow me to say good morning to everyone Bonjour in, and around the courtroom. My name is Lord Chunti. Je Lord Chunti. I am a civil party lawyer Je suis avocat des in this case. Dans ce dossier. And I'd like to put some questions Je to Mr. Samsa. In relation to his statement of harm and 
suffering that inflicted upon him during the democratic Cambodian regime, and that happened uh, the dependent upon them outside. At least uh, to clarify uh, one matter uh, with you, Mr. Civil Party, you said you Monsieur, were born at Phnom Penh village. Precisely, certain However, in your uh, identity card, it shows that your uh, place of birth at Tao, Kirivong, the Kai province. Could you please uh, clarify the matter for the chamber? Civil Party, uh, thank you. Merci. I actually was born in Kampuchea Crown, but I came to live in Kirivong district a long time ago, and when I became a soldier, I changed my place of birth to the place of birth of uh, my wife. Pour celui de mon épouse. Question. Question. Can you tell the court the reason the, for you to make that the change? Qui vous a poussé à changer votre lieu de naissance? Answer. Réponse. I was a soldier and I did not want them to find soldat. out that I originally came from Khmer Krau. For that reason, I changed my background to be a Khmer Le. J'ai changé pour montrer que j'étais Khmer Le. Council, thank you. And Christian. where were you and what were you living before and after 17 Où April 1975? That is after the uh, Khmer Rouge captured Phnom Penh as well as uh, towns où, où throughout the country. Après que les Khmer Rouges ont pris le contrôle de Phnom Penh et des villes avoisinantes. Answer. Réponse. On 17 April 1975, I lived in Phnom, Phnom Penh near the Phnom Penh, vicinity of the Olympic non market. Loin du marché olympique. At about five o'clock in the afternoon, the uh, Khmer Rouge uh, came to our house and chased us away from uh, our uh, residence. They told us that we had to leave uh, Phnom Penh and to move to live at the outskirts of Phnom Penh provisionally, that is for a period of uh, three days only. So we had to move from uh, the city for a distance of three kilometers and after Anka cleaned the city then we Et would be allowed to return to Phnom Penh. As a result, I came to uh, live at the area Je near Obak Om, which was about three kilometers from Phnom Penh center. Obakom, qui and I was there only for two to three days. The Khmer Rouge chased us to move further. Et ensuite, les Khmer Rouge nous ont chassé de cet endroit aussi, et nous avons dû aller plus loin. As at, at the time, my family were thinking of returning to our uh, native village, Ma that is uh, to Kampuchea Kraum. So natale, we decided Kampuchea to make a trip uh, to National Road uh, Number Two, and when we reached the Tunnel the Tung area, the Khmerus asked us where we were heading to, and we lied to them that we were heading to Takeo Province. 
However, we were not allowed uh, to proceed et further by the Khmer Rouge, and we stayed at the Trajung village. Nous sommes restés dans le village de Trajung. At that time, I was uh, pretty young, and uh, they asked me to tend the cattle, to collect the cow dams, and to build dams. De la bouse et diriger des digues. We were then evacuated further to Pursat province. On a été évacué vers Pursat. And uh, that was about the start of the rainy season. C'était au début de And we didn't de stay there for long. We were put in a house which was crowded with 17 other people. Nous avons été bondés. D'autres gens du district qui situation étaient là. There was, uh, terrible. La situation était terrible. Two or three days after we lived uh, in that house, Deux my family, as well as uh, the rest of the 17 April people there, were put on a train heading towards Swayze Sopon. Qui allait vers uh, Swayze Sopon. And we got off at the Swayze's upon the railway station, and I was not familiar with the area at all. We stayed there overnight, and the next morning, we were put on a trailer towed by a tractor, and we were among the other 17 April people. There were many tractors uh, on site, and we were sent to various uh, districts. Uh, some were sent to Penipur district, to Phnom Srok district, or Thmopo district. And my family got on a tractor which was Ma heading to Phnom Srok district, district and that's Nom where Sok. we uh, got off. Then, the bad people uh, came to the area where we got out the tractors uh, with ox carts. Et ensuite, les gens du peuple de base sont And then, uh, the we were put on those uh, ox carts together with other 17 April uh, people and with uh, some Sino Khmer people. Et aussi. And I was uh, sent to Nam Ta village, Moi, village some village round Nam commune. Dans la com dans la commune de Samraong. I was subsequently put into a children's Et unit and the task assigned to me was uh, to collect cow dams and each day we had to Notre collect 80 to 90 kilograms of cow dam. 80 and 90 kilometers, uh, kilograms of bouse de vache. Uh, so we actually tried to compete with one another in order Et to collect cow dams to reach the daily quota. We had a lot of competition between us to respect the quota of work to recover the bus. Later on, I was sent to live in another area. It was a bit Ensuite, uphill at Tassiu uh, Hill. There was another place that was on a hill, Tassiu. It was quite a, quite a uh, graveyard-like hill. C'était une colline. All the children in uh, the children unit uh, belongs to the family donc, of the 17 April people. Les enfants dans cette unité d'enfants étaient issus de familles du 17 April. Earth, at that area was to clear the forest. Notre tâche était de défricher la forêt. Fell bamboos in order to make a vegetation farm to plant uh, potatoes uh, and other uh, vegetation. And that was the year that they started to mistreat us, uh, the children. I maltraiter. myself was pretty young and I never knew uh, before how to cut uh, bamboo. Pas and not bamboo. only that we had to fail 
bamboo trees, but we have to Alors, uproot them non seulement nous in order to make the fire, bambou, mais nous devons aussi and later on to uh, pour, uh, transform the area into a village to house 17 apple people. Ça a servi à construire un village pour les 17 avril. We worked at the various hours regardless of the time of the day or the weather condition. Peu importe les conditions. As for food, Ten of us was given a can of rice, and that happened at the beginning. So we had to, to cook it as a gruel, and we could only see water in a gruel. And later on, the situation worsened. That is, uh, one can of rice for 20, and later on, one can of rice for 30 children. And as a, in, in order to resolve the matter, we had to supplement our uh, food donc, nous with morning glory. Aller chercher du pour, uh, we had to cook it in, in a large uh, jar. Nous tout faire and when it's boiled, then each children would be uh, given a scoop of the watery gruel. De cette soupe de riz. And the situation worsened than that. Because later on, no rice was Car given to us, and we were given only bran. The bran de smelled awful, and there were worms in the bran. It was des barely edible. However, céréale, we had no choice. We had to wash the bran thoroughly before we could boil it. Actually, we packed it uh, with uh, banana leaves. Et on emballé dans des feuilles de banane. Then we kind of uh, burn it, grill it. On devait le faire griller. And because of the situation, many children became sick from swollen uh, disease, from malaria, and some children started to die one after another. There was no medical treatment or sick people were sent to the hospital. No, that was not the case. And the medicine that, uh, that was given to us was a rapid drop like the pellets. These pellets were given for all kinds of treatment, abdominal pain, whatever pain you had. You will be given the same medicine. It was very painful to bear uh, such a horrible situation. Et très difficile. And I was by myself without any family Et members moi, living seul. nearby. And the rest of my uh, relatives and family mm -hmm. members were sent to work uh, ma in a cooperative, in a rice field, far away lisières, from where I worked. Très loin de là où Đòi miền ca, đòi miền ca, thơ bắp, khá lăng phí. Khi em có sợ kết, sợ kết. Due to the unbearable situation, I decided uh, to leave the children unit uh, and to join a mobile unit. As in the mobile unit, uh, members were given uh, gruel to eat, whereas in the children unit, only bread was given. So I 
uh, worked in a mobile unit Donc, at the Trepient Modem website. Une unité mobile sur le barrage de Trepient. And I lived and worked at that uh, work site Moi, and I was the youngest member of the uh, mobile unit. Le membre le plus jeune de cette unité mobile. And I was asked whether I was able to work in the mobile unit si because je... I was so young and I said of si course I could. And jeune, since uh, they saw me as the sûr, youngest member of the mobile uh, unit, I was given a task uh, to write an ask card to transport firewood uh, for the kitchen. So my task at the time was uh, in the morning to go into the forest to cut some wood and return uh, the wood to the kitchen. And some mobile unit members envied me Certains membres de mobile for doing that task. As a result, I was reassigned to Donc, go and carry dirt. Au transport But because I was young, I could not uh, dig uh, the ground. Comme trop jeune, je and I could only carry uh, le sol. Je the dirt. Transporter de la terre. And there was a daily uh, quota for carrying the dirt at the work site. Due to overwork, uh, I became sick. I had fever and it was a relapse uh, fever. Et c'était une fièvre récurrente. But I did not dare to stop working. Mais je n'ai pas osé arrêter de travailler. Once I recovered from the relapse, Quand I returned to work immediately. Je suis, dès que je me rétablissais, je retournais travailler. I was afraid that they uh, would find uh, some kind of mistake uh, that I uh, make. Or that they would accuse me of peur que becoming an imaginary sick person. Un malade, un there was a, a saying at the time there uh, because people could eat and could disais, not work, then they said that it was a fever si of gens, the tractor and si manger, that, 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 that fever means it was an imaginary fever. Fièvre, uh, For that reason, if you could eat, it means you could work. Si and it means manger, your sickness was imaginary. Et que vous faisiez semblant d'être malade. Je m'en prie, je suis à ce qui est cette I have never gotten the, the so-called slogan of Khmer Rouge at that time. I was doing my best. Et je faisais de mon mieux. Je faisais de mon mieux, mais parfois je devais quand même travailler pour survivre. À cette époque-là, je ne pensais pas que je survivrais au régime. I never expected that I would survive the other day. Je ne m'attendais même pas à survivre jusqu'au jour d'après. I verbally made mistake, I would si be taken away and killed. J'avais fait une faute. So I did not dare to say anything. Ainsi, I je rather pretended to be a dumb and deaf uh, person uh, to plant the kapok tree. My other sibling uh, told me not to speak, not to say anything uh, during the regime. I was assigned to work for them. 
during the Et regime. On m'a de travailler pour eux pendant le régime. The Trapangmo Dam work site was considered a hot battlefield at the time, and I had to work very hard. Dû I très was dur. engaged in work uh, regardless of rain, regardless of the hot pleuve, sun que le and soit un thunder. De plomb, when it was time to work, I would go to work. Every morning at 4 or 5, Tous les matins à 4 ou 5 we heures, were woken up to work. Pour aller travailler. And uh, when we were at uh, the working place, uh, we could hear only uh, the uh, sounds of holes digging. We had to work uh, from the morning until 11 when uh, we were given a short time to break. We had lunch for a short period of time, and uh, we resumed the work at 1 p.m. We continued work uh, until 5 p.m. in the evening. Then we had another short break. It took quite a while to arrive at the sleeping quarter and we had dinner before we slept and we I could say we could uh, take a little bit sleep only before we woke up in the early morning at 5 a.m. to have uh, gruels to take baths Rather, uh, we had dinner and uh, we uh, took a short break and we started work at night time. Uh, we also worked at night uh, from uh, 7 p.m. until 10 p.m. So I could not uh, compare the situation at that time to uh, the current situation. We were given thick gruel in a small bowl. On nous donnait de la bouillie épaisse dans un petit bol. I could not eat my fill. It was not Je enough for me. Les quantités n'étaient pas suffisantes pour moi. I would not eat uh, the a thick crawl right away, I had to go tu and collect la, la uh, leaves, edible leaves, uh, to Alors, mix with the thick crawl to fill my stomach. Sun Chan Chaya was uh, my colleague at that time. Uh, he was he is he was the uh, son of uh, Sun Si singer. He was with me going to pick up. Un chanteur. Rather, uh, Sun Chan Chaya, uh, he stole part Sun of uh, my uh, food ration when I was away collecting uh, leaves. When I s noticed uh, my uh, food ration uh, was stolen, I was uh, weeping and crying at that time. I went to my unit chief uh, to inform him that uh, Sun Chan Chaya stole some of my food ration and Sun Chan Chaya was uh, bitten at that time. I felt uh, pity on him. However, in the regime, uh, the regime uh, did not teach us to love each other, to help each other. And regarding the work quota, I, uh, if we received uh, two cubic meters of soy per day, we had the same work quota. We were not taught to uh, be in solidarity on ne nous apprenait pas à être solidaires les uns les autres. If we could not 
fulfill the work quota, our food ration would be reduced. During that time, there were self-criticism and criticism sessions in order to encourage us to work hard for ANCA, for the sake of ANCA. One time, I felt sick. There was no medicine for me, and I was given with uh, the rabbit dropping pellets, and uh, my kneecaps were so weak at the time. My hair uh, was not tidy. I was trembled, I had a fever, no one came to help me, and uh, I had to take in the situation, and it was called the relaxed fever. My clothes my shirts and trousers mes were full of shorts, lies, and it was uh, they were smelly. Étaient plein de poux et sentaient mauvais. There were lies uh, uh, in my clothes. No soap. No. Detergents uh, uh, for us to clean our clothes. Uh, even time, we did not have even time to wash ourselves. Regarding the time that we slept, uh, uh, we used uh, the earth baskets as pillows and hose as bolsters. We were sleeping uh, directly on the ground. Nous dormions à même le sol. Et nous utilisions les houes comme It was a terrible situation. It was so painful for me. I was seriously mistreated since I was considered a 17 April person. They hated so much the 17 April people because uh, 17 April people were said uh, to be a capitalist and feudalist and 17 April people would come with only a set of clothes, no belongings uh, with them when they were evacuated because uh, they were told to leave uh, their places for a period of a few days, three or four days, they had only a set of clothes with them. We worked, worked and worked, no rest, no blankets, during the winter season, we had to la burn things uh, to warm ourselves. Nous Sometimes we would get burned uh, uh, because of the amber. Some people who had a fever, they uh, would warm themselves fait, by uh, burning the Amber, and some of them uh, got en killed of, uh, by uh, the Amber. As I made mention a while ago, only rabbit droppings, pellets were Seul given to all of us for every kind of diseases. De de Lawyer, I would like to put uh, a few more questions to you, Mr. Civil Party. You made a mention a while ago that uh, first uh, you were in a children unit. Could you tell the court why you were transferred to be part of a mobile unit at Trapentement Dam website? Answer. Thank you, Mr. Lawyer. 
For initially, I was within a children unit. I told you already that I could not bear the situation. I could no longer at the ban. There was no more food ration for us. Only ban was given to all of us. For this reason, I decided to leave the children unit and join the, the mobile unit with adults so that I would get some uh, rice or food rations to eat. Lawyer, thank you. Upon your first arrival at the dam work site, did you receive the same and equal work quota? Answer. Thank you, Mr. Lawyer. The work within the mobile unit, Merci, no matter how young we were at the time, was the same avions, in terms of work quota. If we did not complete the work quota, our Parce food ration for the whole group si would be reduced. Quota, they would reuse the food ration uh, and uh, give to other groups who had completed uh, the work quota. Although uh, a small amount of food ration uh, were reused, they had to do that in order to deter us. I was the youngest in the unit. I was weeping, crying. I feel sad that I could not meet the work quota. Later on, I could uh, do the work as others did. So I could uh, achieve what other adults did. Let me backtrack a little bit. When I was young in the children's unit, I was so hungry at the time, nothing to eat. At the time when we were given a can of rice for 30 children, I, because there was no enough food for me, I went around and picked up uh, fish bones to fill my stomach. And even the skin of toads or frogs were picked up by me to eat. So it was terrible for me. I was a 17 year old person. I had never had such a kind of food uh, before in my life. Eu à the cela wastewater uh, from uh, rinsing rice uh, was collected by me uh, to drink. I was, uh, I was uh, worn and reprimanded. I I ate so very much. Uh, for this reason, I was uh, transferred to be part of a mobile unit. Question. When you had been transferred to the mobile units, uh, did you have the latitude to communicate or contact uh, your family members? Answer. When I became a member of a mobile unit, Lorsque je suis devenu membre d'une unité mobile, no time to visit my other siblings. There was one time I had a permission to visit my other siblings in the evening, and the day after, in the morning, I returned to my work site. My brother, my el el elder siblings, advised me not to talk freely, not to say anything. I, will, I was there to visit him for a brief moment. Question. What 
else did you experience while you were working in the mobile unit besides what you have told the court? Mis à part ce que vous venez de dire à la chambre, qu'avez-vous vécu d'autre lorsque vous étiez dans l'unité mobile? Answer: I was working in a mobile unit. A mobile unit. Réponse: Je travaillais dans une unité mobile. There were a lot of incidents happened within the mobile unit. People were taken away and killed. I did not know at the time what kind of mistakes uh, those people committed and why they were taken away and killed. While we were working at night, the halls where we slept so were quiet uh, after 7 p.m. But there was people coming to check uh, to make sure that no one was not staying in the hall. There were some people who fell sick and there were others who had night blindness. For the night blinded people, they were guided uh, toward the latrine. This was a experiment or a test for them. A container, a container was used to be a latrine and uh, the boat, uh, two boats uh, were put on the container so that we could uh, relieve ourselves. One time, uh, the night blinded uh, people were guided toward the uh, ladrin. For those who did not actually have the night blindness disease, they uh, jumped uh, over the pit or the ladrin. But uh, for those who had uh, the night blindness diseases, they fell into the latrine or the pit. So it was okay for the one who had the actual night blindness, they could survive. But for those who pretended to have uh, the kind of diseases, disappeared, one after another. Question. In your experience, what did you feel at that time? Et qu'avez-vous ressenti à l'époque? Answer. In that period. It was a terrible situation. I was terrified. People were taken away, and I was afraid of my life. I could say I was lucky during the regime. I did not have the so-called night blindness. I only uh, contracted a fever and a swollen disease. Uh, my legs, my uh, feet uh, were swollen. I could uh, barely walk. And uh, when I used my fingers to touch uh, my feet and legs, I could see that uh, I could feel the pain. So I had uh, the two kinds of the disease, that is swollen disease and uh, fever during the Khmer Rouge question. Were there any medical staff uh, to treat uh, you and other people? Answer. No medics, no medical staff so during the time. No medical staff 
or doctors to take care of all of us. But uh, we could ask for medicines through unit chief. No modern medicine. There were only rabbit dropping pellets. Uh, they were given to all of us for any kind of diseases. It was said that uh, the pellets were effective for all kinds of diseases. Lawyer, thank you. I would like to backtrack a little bit. In your experience, when you were young in the children's unit or in the mobile unit, had you been educated before and were you educated uh, within the children's unit and mobile unit? Civil party. Thank you, Mr. Lawyer. During the regime, I received uh, no trainings, no education at all, no education for children. Children were instead educated how to cut a cutting kite and pick up a cow dung, no schools for children at that time. Lawyer, I would like to go back a little bit regarding the time when you visited your elder sibling. Your elder sibling told you not to reveal your background, your own background. So why did, uh, what did, what made her uh, advise you uh, in a such way? Civil party. Thank you, Mr. Lawyer. My elder sibling uh, was Merci. had been a well educated. Mon aîné avait été Her bien éduqué. husband uh, mari held a senior position in the former regime. She advised me not to mention or reveal a background of uh, our family situation because uh, she understood that there were people who had been taken away and killed. My elder sister survived uh, the period as well. In fact, uh, during uh, the regime, um, my uh, sister had divorced uh, her husband already. Her husband uh, was a soldier at Nhat Luang. She told me uh, to shut up my mouth, not to reveal anything about uh, our family background. Lawyer, in relation to your siblings and relatives, S'agissant de votre fratrie et des membres de votre famille. Did you lose any loved one in your family? Avez-vous perdu des gens, des êtres chers dans votre famille? Civil party. Thank you, Mr. Lawyer. In relation to my family members who perished in the Khmer Rouge regime, Ce qui concerne les membres de ma famille qui ont péri sous le régime Khmer Rouge, my aunt or uncle died, the whole family, his whole family, her whole family, died. And my mother, younger sibling, 
was a colonel in the former regime. L'un des cadets de ma mère était un colonel dans l'ancien régime. The whole family uh, were, la famille was uh, taken away and killed. Et exécuté. Only one survived. Seule une personne Only a one uh, member from the, his or her family uh, survived at the period. Seul un membre de sa famille a survécu à cette période. Question. Do, do you recall question who else uh, disappeared during uh, the regime particularly did uh, any loved one loved ones who supported you when you were young disappeared vous soutenez lorsque vous étiez jeune ont-ils disparu My mother, who raised me up, réponse, uh, ma mère lost her life. Qui a élevé, my a perdu la vie. aunt, my aunt called, uh, ma tante, mon oncle, later on, my uncle raised me and my Plus siblings tard, mon oncle élevé, in the Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh. My uncle was a minister in the Lunar regime. His name was Zhao Sao. Mon oncle s'appelait Zhao Sao. He was the one who provided support to my elder siblings un soutien qui to receive uh, high education. Aînés. He was uh, killed by Khmer Rouge. Leur éducation. I had a great suffering because of uh, his killing. De sa perte. Two of my elder brothers uh, disappeared de, de uh, with him, aînés, with my uncle. Aînés, I have never lui, seen them back until now. Revu. Question. When you recall what you have experienced in the period, de tout ce que vous avez vécu pendant cette période, how do you feel? Comment vous sentez-vous? Answer. So far, I have lost my aunts, my uncles, my nephews, and other relatives whom I could depend upon in life. I feel terrible for the loss of these lives, including the life of my mother. De la mort they de took personnes, care of me. La mort de ma mère. Des gens qui de moi. They raised my siblings. Ils, ils they provided us with education. Moi, but ultimately, they died under uh, the hands of the Khmer Rouge regime. And nothing was as tu painful as the loss of these lives. Et rien nothing plus can compare to it. La mort de ces gens. And it is thanks to the regime that so far has destroyed the future à cause de ce of my family. Qui a they de ma deprived famille. us of education. Nous ont privé We didn't have uh, the chance to study at all. Nous pas eu la chance de pouvoir étudier. And that is the most painful thing in my life. Et dans ma vie, c'est une des choses les plus difficiles. Look at the chapika chichap motit 
Question. Would you express uh, your true feeling about the period that uh, you worked at the Depend Modern work site? Oui, vous nous despite the despite the fact that you overworked de comment vous vous sentez vis-à-vis -vis de you votre were travail not à given sufficient uh, food to eat vous, vous what was your true feeling at the time dur. vous n'avez pas assez vous n'aviez pas assez à manger comment vous sentiez-vous à l'époque and uh, thank you council for asking this question merci maître de me poser la question while I was in the mobile unit, I overworked. Quand dans mobile, I never had trop. enough sleep and Je the food was assez. never sufficient. Je ne pas assez. Nothing could describe uh, such a horrible situation. C'était une situation très éprouvante. Et je ne trouve pas les mots pour la décrire. Sometimes we were so hungry and Nous we spoke si to one another. As long as I Nous could be given just a plate full of rice si and a si cooked chicken, I would change it for my life and for my last meal. Contre, um, Some other would say just cuit. a bowl of food would be sufficient for them to feel satisfied and they, they could rest in peace. You can imagine how terrible the situation was. We could feel that just give us a good last meal and we would feel satisfied. Satisfied d'un seul bon dernier repas. Question. While you Question. were working at the Depend Modem work site, did you ever envisage the benefit from your sacrifice, from your hard work Pendant on the dam construction? Pendant que vous travailliez sur le chantier de traitement, avez-vous pensé qu'il pourrait y avoir un avantage à tous ces sacrifices que vous faisiez? Talking about the sacrifice and about the benefit from working at the dam construction site, my life there could be regarded as a life of an animal, and that applies to all workers. As for the benefit, we knew nothing about the benefit of what the purpose of building the dam. Everything was organized by Ankar, and for us, we tried to survive on a daily basis. When we woke up, we knew that, okay, we could live for that day, but we did not know what's going to happen the next day, or that late evening. Ce que cela signifiait pour le we soir could not envisage anything at all. Aucune vision and we never knew their true intention on the building of the Dependent Work site. La de ce not at all. We were completely in the dark, and that was On compounded by the fact that I was a pretty young Et de toute façon, at the time. Très jeune, moi, à I kept doing what I was asked to do ce que dit de faire. to build a dam, on to work the dry season rice farming. Faire de la en saison sèche. Question. This is my question. last question to you, uh, Mr. Civil dernière question, Monsieur la Partie Civile. Again, while you were working at the work site, and as you just stated, you never knew what was going to come, whether you would be killed in the afternoon or next day. I 
And if this is the way that you felt at the time, can you describe that to the court mm -hmm. how painful such a feeling si was? Comme ça que vous vous sentiez à l'époque. Pouvez-vous décrire à quel point c'était pénible? Answer. I believe uh, my feeling at the time was similar to all of those workers uh, in the mobile unit. Comme tous les autres since de mostly mobile. they were 17 April uh, people. Pour la plupart, tous des 17 April. And yes, uh, there were a handful of uh, best people who were Et in oui, the mobile de, unit, but they were the ones uh, playing a different role. Ils un rôle they would monitor our activities or the words uh, that we spoke. Écouter nos conversations. Questioned. And Mr. Civil Party, lastly, Do you have any questions Question. that Finalement. you wish to put to the accused through Monsieur the president of the trial chamber? Answer, uh, thank you, uh, counsel. And Mr. President, Merci, with your président. permission and through you, I'd like to put the questions to the accused. J'aimerais poser des questions aux accusés. One. The, during the Khmer Rouge regime, they said that Sous they considered children de, as pillars de, of de, the country. Rouge, Why did they deprive their education Pourquoi from the children? Les And instead, why were they forced Pourquoi to cut, cut drink out the trees? Les to collect cow dung, why were they deprived of food arbres, and only a can of rice was given to 30 children? Et pourquoi a-t-on donné une seule canette de riz pour 30 enfants? Second. Deuxième question. In the democratic Khmer regime, Anka said that uh, we should deal three to four tons of rice produced per hectare. What happened to the yield? Why the yields were not given to the people to eat? Third. Troisième question. Came during the democratic Cambodia period, they said that it was a great leap forward. If that was the case, why no machineries were used for the building of the Kremlin Modem website, and instead the people were forced to engage in manual labor? President, thank you, Mr. Samsa, and the Merci, Chamber Monsieur wishes Samsa. to inform you that after ascertaining the position of both accused on 8 January 2015 regarding the exercise of the right to remain silent, The chamber notes that the two accused maintained the their express position, position unless And until such time, the chamber is expressly informed otherwise by the co-accused or their counsels. It is therefore incumbent upon them to inform the chamber in a timely and efficient manner should the accused resolve to waive the right to remain silent and be willing to respond to questions by the bench or relevant parties at any stage of the proceedings. As of today, the Chamber is not informed that the co-accused have changed their express position and thus agreed to provide their response to questions. For that reason, the Chamber is not in a position to compel the accused to respond to your questions. The time is appropriate for a, a short break. We we'll take a break now and resume at 10.30. Court officer, please assist the civil party during the uh, break and invite him together with the TPO staff back into the uh, card room to continue proceedings of hearing the impact statement by this civil party at 10.30.
the code is now in recess. Process.